about flirting mm -hmm. and about your project at Royal Academy. How did you decide to choose your pieces for Royal Academy? So you, you don't think you can trust your recording, so you have to use the image? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to repeat, you can give another I, version. I like to use my work to flirt with uh, the audience. You know, I like them to be charmed or to, to feel I didn't waste much of their time or even before they turn off the light, they, they think that day is worse. So I think that would, that would be nice. And uh, uh, you think you are making things like in an Hollywood movie? Yeah, there, there's a lot of nice movies which it retells the story and make the story which more accept, acceptable or to make it uh, it's not reality it's to create another reality with beauty not exactly with beauty but with uh, a shocking image which against our what we think the world ought to be but rather to make we feel sometimes a little bit uncomfortable or or terrified or or well memorable maybe maybe that's the words. So you are going from serious past to very funny present in a way. My serious past is a very funny present. <laughs> you cannot separate it. That, that's a problem, you know, if I can separate it, I will separate it into many parts. But it's, it's all together, you know, that's, we just, and life, he, life is too short to separate it. And all, all that linked to, still to Duchamp, or we, we, who seemed to be your great master? Yeah, Duchamp is a person who realize the life as a mysterious property and he's very intelligent with his attitude, his laziness, his Frenchness or his, you know, his, uh, it's a smart man. Merci, monsieur.